Hello everyone, welcome back to Anush Vlogs. Today we are going to visit the beautiful Wadi Mohideen which is located right below the mighty Alhaja mountain ranges. Wadi means a dry water body which has water only when it rains. Wadi Mohideen is located in Barkat Al Mus and uh, is almost 2 hours drive from Muscat. It will take around uh, 45 minutes to reach Wadi Mohideen from Nizwa. We can easily reach Wadi Mohideen by following directions towards Jabal Akhtar. but you will need a four wheel drive to reach the wadi from main road there are a lot of farms in barkat al mus especially dates and banana plantations uh, the name barkat al mus itself translates into banana pool because of the excessive number of banana plantations The building that you see is an ancient castle which has been recently renovated and is known as Bait al Radida Fort. There are canals around this fort which originates from Wadi Mohideen and from here it goes inside the village and supplies water to all the farms. The mountains that you see are part of Al Hajar mountain ranges. These mountain ranges extend for 700 kilometers through Oman and UAE. Wadi Mohideen is surrounded by these mountains which makes it a great place for walking and trekking. As you can see there are few farms over here. The water for these farms is sourced from the wadi. We have parked our car and we are going to climb on top of the falaj and start walking towards the wadi. You must be wondering what is a falaj? Falaj is a canal that you see right in front of you and it's an ancient irrigation system. The oldest falaj system that has been discovered in Oman dates back to around 500 AD. While walking towards the wadi we saw a lot of dragonflies and goats. water here is crystal clear and it's not very deep so we can see the fishes very clearly
just listening to the sound of water is so healing. Finally, we stepped inside the water and had a lot of fun. Look how pristine and beautiful this place is. I can't stop admiring it. Dustbins have been installed at several points in Wadi Moedim. So please do not litter like this. We decided to go for trekking and while we were climbing up, we could see the point where the Palaj and Wadi meets. The view from here is breathtaking. I'm absolutely stunned by the beauty of this place. The stone walls that you see are a part of terrace farming that used to be a practice here long ago. You can also see the remnants of palash that used to supply water to these farms. This building looks like an old watchtower. From here, you can actually see what is happening on the ground level. The level of water, everything is very clear from here. So they might have used it in olden days to anticipate floods or similar kind of situations. There are big red spots on the rocks to guide you towards the trekking path. By simply looking at this tree, we could easily imagine the height of water that comes gushing through the wadi. The inside of this tree is completely filled with the stones from wadi. The trekking path is almost parallel to an old fallet system, so you just have to follow that path. We could see a lot of caves as we moved ahead, big and small ones. But uh, these caves were not as deep as they look in the video.
there were lot of thorny bushes so it won't be ideal to wear long free flowing clothes when you are going for a trek and you need a good pair of shoes otherwise you're going to slip the trekking path gets very tricky as we go ahead look at these big holes on the mountains these are home for so many birds and animals This place is so divine. This was the view from the highest spot that we climbed. These white patches are formed on the mountains because of the waterfalls that happened during the rain and the uh, white color is due to high calcium content. And finally we are going down. You can just sit here on this dam, put your legs down inside the wadi and get a free fish pedicure. The water is so cold and after that trek, this is a much needed relaxation. A dip in the wadi is also a good way of relaxation. frog before leaving the wadi and manifestation do come true i saw a frog jumping into the wadi and here's a cute little video of that frog we went back with a very heavy heart this place just stole our hearts it is one of the true wonders of nature Wadi Buidin is a perfect place for nature lovers. You can camp here, make barbecues and have a great time with your friends and family. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. Please like, share and subscribe if you like this video.